right. Cheers, and welcome to Fireside Philosophy. I'm Steve. I'm here today with... Mike. And it's his birthday today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh happy Thank birthday, you. Three Mike. Decades. Three decades. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> and Despite my best efforts. It's not my birthday. <laughs> it's not Steve's birthday. <laughs> here with also Steve, Kevin, and Matt. Also not my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Not my birthday either. Yeah. 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 Throw that in your data mining in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck figure, you. Figure that one out. Fuckers. Reference date against Fucking something else. <laughs> also, you don't even know when we recorded this. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been years ago, decades. It was. Well, it was sometime this week, probably. Uh, Today is January the 3rd. Or yeah. was it? <laughs> 19... Don't tip them off. 12. <laughs> 99. 1984, we think. Anyways, so. there's no significance right. to that year. Um, so, so, anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a double IPA. You're ranking it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it is 10%. <laughs> it is 10%. So so that's I have drank it like this much. <laughs> hey, you've Dorado double by Ballast Point, 10%. It's Very delicious. Wow. They mash hop it. It's amazing. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, That's I hadn't so even impressive. heard of mash hopping before this. <laughs> exactly. Fat weasel ale. I'm rinking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rinking some. Fuck you. Cider. <laughs> oh, boop, 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 boop. Cider. Cider. <laughs> what are you drinking? Cider. cider. What kind of cider? I don't remember. Oh, okay. It was, it was a cider <laughs> made by various different. I think you brought it, right? I yeah. did last what week, actually. I don't know, man. I had a long time. <laughs> what do you have in there, Mikey? Birthday boy. Um, this is a uh, third shift uh, amber lager. Uh, it's a good fi uh, five and some change uh, percent there. It's um, I've seen it before. It's got a twist off, so that's kind of different for uh, for a smaller beer. But uh, not really sure where it's made. But, uh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about the twist off thing, Mike. How is it? Does it taste good? Twist off. Because yeah. everybody knows but that beer is a good. twist yeah, off. It's all right. it's like yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's Coors or something. That's uh, important. Yeah, for, uh, you know. For a beer. For a twist off. Yeah, exactly. For a twist off. Decent. Okay. What are you drinking? I'm also drinking the Dorado Double. Stuff is great. 10%. Yeah. Very good IPA. I don't know who decided to mash hop it, but get on you. There you go. <laughs> Maybe we should try it for the Liberto IPA. Ooh. That will be that we will have at Libertopia. Really? Nice. Yes. In November. We named in, it after Libertopia. In if 2000. you couldn't guess. <laughs> Are you gonna mash it? <laughs> We're thinking about it as of now. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Recorded on what the it, internet for all the world to see. But whatever it whatever it's gonna be, it'll be good though. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, onto the topic. <laughs> today we're talking about radical optimism. Uh, Kevin started a website for it and a meetup too, right? Oh, you That's did? Right, You've yeah. only had one meetup so far. Yeah, though, I'm right? a little behind on that. <laughs> oh, really? I'll look yeah. that up. Yeah. Yeah, so tell, tell, tell us exactly what is radical optimism. All right, so radical optimism is using reason and evidence to look for optimistic ways of looking at every part of life. It's a basic spiel. Uh, it's based a lot off of uh, Rational Optimism, which is a book by Ridley. And then there's a couple other books, um, Improv The Improving State of the World and um, some other positive psychology and other fields. So it's kind of the basis of it. We have cameras here, Steve. I know. <laughs> but what the hell? There's chairs here, you guys. Go ahead, sorry. No problem. So the I'd say there's kind of well, it's a, a website, it's radicaloptimism.org, and it basically lists a lot of things in life, so from human society to emotions to relationships and environment and all kinds of things, and um, goes through issues that people commonly have with life and tries to find optimistic uh, ways to look at it. I found that. There's a lot of catastrophism in the world where in the media and culture and even in libertarian circles. Oh, my God, ISIS. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and wait, wait, wait. Who, 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 what impression am I doing? 
They're coming for you. They're coming for you. They've got Flora in the water, and they're the elites, and they're controlling the world. All right, Alex Jones, can I just sum that up as yeah, being the, the only you're supposed to answer sort of your like, own? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like the term elite. Uh, well, I just if it was a bad impression, I just wanted to be like, yeah, <laughs> talk about Alex Jones here because that's good, what man. he does. He makes money off of fear. You know, he we makes money off that. of scaring people, and you know, you know, don't like that guy. Oh yeah, okay, we talked about that. All right. Another term I like is uh, apocaholic. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> like it. Apocaloptimist. <laughs> hey, you know that one? No. Yeah, that's somebody that's... Who, th- who thinks that the world's going to hell, but it's like, going to be all right. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, I, I kind of feel I that way a lot. I kind of have that. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> you know, do you, that's actually pretty damn good, don't you think? I did not make that up. It's, it's, that's an I, option. I saw it somewhere. It's a good option. It's being optimistic about the apocalypse, so it's definitely <laughs> radical optimism. Yeah, that definitely falls in that yeah. category for sure. I mean, I, I get, for, for me, where I get my optimism from is in that kind of similar sense that, that uh, apocalyptimism. Right? That, that, that made enough Close sense. Enough. Close enough. And, uh, it, it 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 comes from I guess like I, I think about like you know stuff back in history and you've got like uh, you I mean like wars were uh, you know uh, good example is uh, collapse of uh, the B- Byzantine Empire for the last hundred years before uh, the Turks took uh, conquered Constantinople there was not a city left on the entire like what you think of Turkey today Anatolia they used to call it right. I and mean, that's how bad the war was. Every city was destroyed between there and and uh, the uh, Turkish capital. And then you've got like you know farther back, you've got like the plague, where you know uh, half or possibly even three quarters of of uh, the European population was killed. And then you've got uh, you know this is an argument for optimism. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I was you, waiting. For yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to it. Yeah. And, you know, and then you've got, you know, the, the, uh, the Native Americans here being exposed to uh, smallpox and, and devastating the, and their population. But my optimism comes from is that we've gotten through all that, right? Are we really going to sit there and be like, oh, no, a fiat currency collapsed and that paper isn't worth anything anymore. Oh, no, that's the end of everything? Nah, nah, nah. Or ISIS. Yeah, or ISIS. Oh, God. Yeah, that, Don't that, forget that, ISIS. that CIA creation, that Al Qaeda. Al- what CIA, are you talking about? Al CIA, duh, right? <laughs> you know, it's obviously, no. you know. Duh. Well, so taking that a step further. What about know? Ebola? Mm, oh, God, there's something. Don't forget. Know, what are we going to do? I just read today Dallas, that there's Dallas, Ebola in Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Panic. It's Was coming to get you. Wars? You know, the only problem, the only thing about that. Um, wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> Radical optimism. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Was what my, say oh. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, you can go ahead. Well, I was just going to say the only thing is the technology. It's it's a what, what we've got going on now is a race with technology. If the more people that adopt things, alternate currencies, cryptocurrencies, whatever, then when the shit hits the fan, that stuff does eventually implode. Then that'll lessen the blow, right? Yeah. But but there is a race with technology, right? Oh, for sure. You know, can we? Is can it, humanity? I don't want to get. A, I don't know how this fits in with radical optimism, although I am optimistic about the future of humanity. But, um, <laughs> you know, can we beat those motherfucking sociopaths at their own game? Well, there's, a, there's one great line in uh, Rational Optimist that I really liked. He says that, so if you look at a lot of ways of how society has improved, whether it's life expectancy, sure violence like you were just talking about Mm -hmm. i mean it's clear the evidence is very clear that things are improving in Mm -hmm. many ways and the way even towards freedom in a general sense absolutely yeah i mean women getting more power but you know uh different races etc and the way he put it was there has been improvement despite the what he calls chiefs priests and thieves Mm -hmm. and i really like that quote because it's not that there aren't horrible things in the world horrible people but it's that there's been progress that is clear in the despite evidence, that. despite yeah. all that. Right. And there's, right. I mean, it's obviously possible that there's a world government and a crazy dictator. That's, I mean, anything's possible, but, and that's, 
you know, non-trivial chance that that might happen, but there's a good chance that it won't. Side note, right. I really don't think the Queen of England is running the world. I've heard, have you ever heard that conspiracy what? that it's all run by the Queen of England Her? somewhere along the line? No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I yeah. No, but, I've heard, I've heard the, the, the Jesuits, I've heard the Jews. <laughs> yeah. Heard, uh, She's a shapeshifter. <laughs> oh yeah, shapeshifting reptilians. Shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reptilians. That, 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 could, that could be it. But that was it's the lizard people. Well, haven't you noticed that when she talks, when she goes to take a breath, she does a little. <laughs> <laughs> she she licks her eyes. She... I'm just saying, okay. You know, a giant yeah. tongue comes out of her face yeah. and licks her. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Nobody else. Nobody knows. Nobody else noticed that. Yeah. Noticed that? <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. How do you measure progress? Yeah, it's, so that actually goes back to an earlier point, which is, you know, what is some of the evidence for violence and uh, average wealth of a person on the earth? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's many more statistics to look at. And there's a lot of pretty good evidence. So, for example, uh, I think life expectancy is a good way to measure progress because that is shows, obviously, how people are cared for, but also shows things like Ebola, you know, because you're going to die earlier if there's a lot of diseases. And that's just been going steadily up worldwide for the average person. Hmm. And I think wealth is another good way. So the, if you look at average wealth per person around the globe, it's been going up for thousands of years, pretty steady climb. And so I think those are two good ways. But that's a good question. Now, there are there's certainly things that might be getting worse. So some consider the environment is getting worse. Mm -hmm. Is it? So I think there's... Is it? It's uh, debatable. Yeah, I think it's a good... I, I mean, is CO2 really a bad thing? So I don't know, but the way I look at it on the website is to just look at the um, UN IPCC's own report, mm -hmm. they, they say in there that um, if the warming is less than a couple degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. then the, pos the impacts might even be positive. Mm -hmm. So... And even and there's good evidence that on on a certain time frame that the environment could adjust to that increase. Right, you know? and yeah, humans okay. could adapt also. Yeah, and <laughs> rept yeah, except for reptiles. Uh, but and there's also good evidence that they've been overestimating the warmth. I, I personally believe that the Earth is warming. It's probably partly due to human activity, but it doesn't seem to be as bad as they thought it would be, and that's clear yeah. in their own report. Mm -hmm. So that would be one optimistic way to look at the environment. So why? Why what? Why be radically optimist? Okay, that's a great question. So <laughs> actually, Brian, who's been on this podcast, right. exposed me to positive psychology, which I had not even heard of before uh, formulating all this. And there's good research that it, um, being optimistic actually helps with uh, dealing with heart attacks, mm, sure. with various other health conditions, mm -hmm. and so it, it really has a physical impact. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing to bl be a blind, optimistic, empty-headed fool. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think that's going a little over. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, that's actually an interesting question. I don't. So I'm all for optimism based on reason and evidence. Yes, but it's possible. I haven't read all the research. Possibly even being blindly optimistic yes. might be good for you. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't even know. Well, look, blissfully ignorant? What the fuck? I mean, I envy those people. But the good news is In you can be way. optimistic uh, uh, with evidence. Yes, you can. I, well, and, that's and, the argument. And, and believe it or not, I actually am. I, I was talking <laughs> to a good friend about this the other day, about how, why I'm a optimist. And, and I went to kind of like a... a Kind of like, a, I wouldn't say a dark spot, but really it's something that you don't think of so much. At least a lot of people don't think of so much. Uh, Matt, you brought it up a couple times. It's like, so we've got all these problems here on Earth. And, you know, we're saying like, oh, what about global warming? Oh, what about these, the, these fuckers who want to control everybody else's lives and tell them what to do? And that's horrible and, and all that. But at one point or another, the sun can just be like, mm, corona mass ejection and you're all dead. Like, yeah. it would just, it could just right. happen pretty yeah. much at any time. Right. And there's not a damn thing we can all do about it. Right. So right. it's like, I, I wouldn't put it really another, dead. Just I was going dead. Yeah. A star could have exploded 200,000 years ago, uh -huh. and it'll wipe, it out, wipe us out tomorrow. Yeah, so like, that's kind of what I think about it. It's like, okay, so 
uh, when it comes down to it, like, yeah, we're all going to oh, die, and maybe there's, like, some weird form of zen there somewhere, but, it, but, but you know. Uh, on the same... Uh, top, on the same line of thinking, mm. if you look at the fact that intelligence at all has developed in these, uh, you know, 13 or 14 billion years that the universe has existed, mm -hmm. then that alone, I think, is a little bit something to look at. Hey, look, maybe we should be optimistic. It, the it, fact that we exist at all is, is something like... Yeah, it, it's quite a feat. Pretty ma it's tenacious motherfuckers is what we are. <laughs> and, and, and from a long line of them, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's true. I mean, yeah. and and, and, to, and to, to show that, I mean, just think of like how quickly evolution has taken pl place in what we know to be the the or what we believe to be the, the 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 span of the history of the universe. Like blink of an eye is we went from from like a sharp obsidian rock tied to a stick somehow with animal sinew and, and cracking away at, at, at a, you know, a, a down pine limb or something to now having these processors that you can have a five gigabyte chip that will fit on your thumb. And, and I remember orbit, 10 years. Orbiting the earth, yeah, flying and, to other Yeah, bodies, yeah, satellites going around this blue marble, you know, it's yeah. wild, yeah. And theoretically, we might even be able to create technology to go to other parts of space and avoid you know, that sun explosion. I mean, emanating. That's disaster. like, uh, well... How are you going to evacuate everybody? Yeah, well, even disasters on <laughs> Earth, like uh, SpaceX and Elon Musk, they want to go to Mars because they, they know that if something were to happen to Earth, at least we'd have somebody on Mars to continue right. the human race. Oh, not gives, that it would matter if everybody was dead on Earth. <laughs> it's not going to matter anybody Well, I mean, how many Earth. people are there on Mars if there's just one poor bastard, you know, in, like, some, like, capsule and, you know, for his little habitat, and he's like, oh, the Earth is gone. Yeah. Rats, <laughs> but you know, if you've got a good community going, I suppose, yeah, yeah, well, there's future for humanity there, yeah. Yeah, being multiplanetary though, that's that's definitely something. Yeah, that would... helps out with the variables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what will be the next change in consciousness? Um, the next change in consciousness. What will that be? That's the I, question posed. I think <laughs> it's humanity. The, 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 the question was. What is what will be the next change in consciousness, right? Is that what yeah. that, that was yes. a question? Uh -huh. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, can I say something? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I was just I, I was shut up. It, so no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I think it's and I think we are moving towards that, and that's part of that race with uh, the fuckers that want to stop us. But uh, as far as the technology goes, but I think it's realizing. And I know this is going to go against some of the hardcore um, atheist view, but I don't care. And that <laughs> is that I think it's the awareness that we really are all one. And right. I, I, um, I'm an atheist that doesn't go against one. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think that... How do you think that could happen? I think it's happening. I, I actually think it's, I think thanks to the internet, let's face it, the internet has really changed things so that. Do so you think there's evidence for this? Are you saying that that, that would be sort of a, uh, a source of a single consciousness would be the internet? I'm not saying a single consciousness, I'm just saying, I, because I, mean, I be definitely uh, believe in the concept of individuality, but I, I think that, uh, or more the reality that we are individuals, but I think that the collectivists want to take that away from us because that, let's face it, that is their goal, that is their end goal. And, but I, I, um, I think it's just the realization, wow, well, this is an LSD trip I had once, okay? <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. <laughs> You'll, you'll, you'll find yourself in some wonderful places. Keep going. No. Yeah. Continue. Keep going. QED. Oh, LSD trip. I heard your name was Frank, right? Yeah. <laughs> Get in. Go. I don't care. But. My concern is that the even in spite of the optimism I have that more and more people are, you know, wake, waking up, is that too many people still see the, the state as this apotheosis of virtue, when it's not, it it is. Yeah, I think that's the real. That's the scary that needs part. To happen. A scary amount of people like that. So right? I'll propose scary. something. Scary and the okay. corporation. Yeah, that's huh? true. State and the corporation. How do, how I do don't. I don't really differentiate right. because 
they they do their thing together and so who you know what i mean it's like state and corporations it's kind of like that, that, that's a definition fucking, of fascism isn't it you know. right <laughs> so here's one idea one idea is that i from the evidence that i've seen most progress has been essentially correlated with wealth so as wealth increases people will you know get rid of child labor people will treat mm -hmm. people better right. animals whatever mm -hmm. so i think that and so far wealth continues to increase mm -hmm. so as wealth continues to increase i think what will happen is that just like other institutions have fallen by the wayside like you know monarchy and others mm -hmm. uh, i even think that slavery and monarchy were probably uh, there were social movements that had to happen i think that they were the prerequisite was average wealth increasing I think it'll be the same thing. If wealth continues to increase, people will just realize that the obvious, you know, moral fallacies of the state, and it'll just go away. And that's what, that's the optimistic part of it. Right. Yeah. Is that why they're trying to make everyone poor? They're failing. Well, they're trying to make us all one and not in a good way, like I was talking about, in a fucked up uh, collectivist way where there is no individuality and you all... You know, it's the group think. Um, THX eleven thirty eight. Why aren't you taking your medication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I, re I oh wow, I remember that movie vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's actually really not that good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people are like, oh, it was, it was, Lu it was George Lucas's first movie. Yeah, oh, it was yeah? also George Lucas's first movie. First it's not that good. Yeah, keyword. was he still in college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually filmed like most of it on like the USC campus. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. Hmm. But, I mean, I guess, you know, you were saying about, um, about the, like, the, the, the technology race, I kind of, I, I agree with that, that government just cannot adapt that quick to keep up in the race. Now, they're trying real hard, and, you know, they're, they're doing things where they're getting corporations to, to do whatever they ask them to do. For example, like, you know, I guess Yahoo thought they could get away with putting their foot down and saying we're not giving the NSA any more information you've been screwing us around long enough we're not doing it anymore and the government just kind of came back and said oh yeah okay yeah you don't have to give us information but you're gonna have to pay a fee of uh, $250,000 a day to not give us that information really I yeah. didn't even know yeah that. yeah no that was like yeah, last week like that's that. what they said they're like oh yeah you don't have to give this us is, that information this but. is an old thing though it just, this was a few but, years ago I yeah believe. was it, that, I it actually it was like, happened okay all right. the, the, this was something that had come out and they weren't I don't think they were supposed to talk about it oh, okay so it happened a while back but yeah like they, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they had raised concerns about like privacy issues and then the government said no like you need to stop. okay so there's there's better context now it has it. Yeah. now it has come up recently that Apple has said that they're not gonna and somebody else. Google. Wasn't was it, it Google? Android and iOS? Yeah, which I got to tell you. Well, go to finish off. that, Steve, because I want to, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was just going to say that Apple uh, promised that they weren't going right. to uh, let let the government into their well, they're, systems they're, anymore. They're saying they're encrypting iOS, and uh, Google says they're going to be encrypting uh, Android by default, is my understanding. Apple, right. Apple and the head Apple's of Google is former head of DARPA. Ah, mm. we're going to have to be pretty damn optimistic about that. <laughs> okay, that, here's some optimism. That would go in okay. the blind, optimistic, empty-headed fool category, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, here's some evidence. So. Well, tell me, because this guy's a programmer, Yeah, right? I, I do know some okay, technology. Okay, so, right. <laughs> so uh, China is an interesting example. In China, they have the most extreme case of the government, you know, doing crazy things with technology, where it's the Great Firewall, so to speak. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. what they call it. So basically, they have I think tens of thousands of humans watching what people are doing, and, mm -hmm. and there's crackdowns for sure. But even with all of that, they control all the routers at the edge of the that connect to the rest of the internet. Even with all that, Chinese people can get out. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in China. I've talked to some people that they you know everybody knows some guy who knows a VPN connection mm -hmm. or you know mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. and people get out yeah, people, yeah. that's so, so bitching yeah. might be slow but they get out exactly right? yeah it is usually yeah. slower right. that's yeah. cool I see I love that shit I don't I think the just government's ever going to be ahead of anybody when it huh? comes to technology right. who's that I don't th I, I think it's it's always overstated how 
advanced the government is when mm. it comes to technology. Yeah. I think there's a lot of bureaucracy that goes on yeah. in upgrading Thank systems and all. Thank the baby Jesus. Well, even the idea <laughs> yeah. that government is everywhere and they're watching you. It, it's it's not as true as people make it. It's out a to fear be. tactic. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. It's that panopticon pr- thing. Pri- primarily, they want you to be afraid. It's, so it's so like as theos. much as much as you have and reasons to be worried about your gods everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> or it's, gods it's everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. the same type of thing. Gods everywhere. Governments everywhere. They're both deifications trying to say that you're always being watched and you have to follow these uh, commands by this deity. It's really what it is. Yeah, because they found that with the Panopticon, you know, prison design, that the the idea of the prisoners would, even if they didn't know, even if they didn't know when they were being watched, right? Because it was the round building. <clears throat> Look it up, you people. You know, no, it's, you people. It's, it's, you a people. Good, it's a good little uh, little point of reference. Yeah, the yeah, be, yeah. But okay, even though that. they couldn't, because they they designed it so they couldn't see the guards or whatever, right? The, guard the guards was in the center, but you with mirrors, you couldn't tell who he was looking at. Yes, exactly. But and so they would change their behavior because they thought they were being observed. Right. See. So, you know, fuck you. <laughs> Not you. Yeah. Fuck you, NSA. You damn controllers. Fucking sociopathic, <laughs> creepy <laughs> bastards. <laughs> fuck. Super creepy. Get, God, get a life. <laughs> yeah, get a so, real job, man. Yeah, man. Look, <laughs> produce or something, man. <laughs> so Matt and I were talking the other day, and we figured out what we all have to do to never have to do oh, yeah. anything again. Right. Is you know, you know, the key is optimi- op- uh, radical optimism. I no, like that. That's not the word I'm no. looking for. I love that term. Uh, I gotta tell you. Autom- uh, auto- automatize. What, what Autonomic? Am I? Autonomous? Yeah, make, Autonomous? Making every, Autonomous? Make, Autonomous? Can, make robots do everything for us. Autonomous. <laughs> Autonomy. Autonomy. Right. Yeah, Robot yeah, yeah. sex is the key <laughs> oh, to the future. I'm getting there, okay? <laughs> Hold on. We're not there. We've got a couple minutes. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Or do we? Let, let me build up to it. <laughs> we might so, be able to get it in this time. Well, yeah, we might have enough time to actually talk about robot sex. So, fleshies. <laughs> yeah. There, so, we're all the fleshies, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, so it's not just that you have to build robots to do everything. Because if you build robots to bu- do everything, you still have to build the robots, and that's doing something. So what you do is you build a robot who can build up o- and design other robots to do stuff. Right. Mm. Yes. So then, then that robot can invent a robo prostitute. <laughs> a robot. <laughs> right. A robot. 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 A so <laughs> you can pimp them out. We talked yeah. about this last yeah. week. Oh, yeah, for a kilowatt. <laughs> yeah. Sex, but but yeah. what's the, what's the initiative for, for 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 a robot to get paid for sex, though? How's the ro- like, what does the robot get out of this? Well, who cares? Well, it's a robot. Well, well, but if it's a <laughs> Orgasms will be built well, in. So uh, what, what I want to know, though, is how... We how don't does program it to that extent, yeah. right? How, how, does robo- robo- cares. What, how does radical optimism play into that? Well, I think I it's know. pretty good. I think I'm need to have. It. I'll need to think about this one. Well, okay. <laughs> We're going to have sex robot sex episode half to Without the, the drama of a yeah. normal relationship. Yeah, and robot, yes. and a robot sex conversation will happen in the future, right? Oh, so, uh, man, we are almost out of time. I got to tell you, though. Like, Again. Uh, I kind of like human Right when we sex. got on the topic everybody really wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Flashies <laughs> unite. This always happens. How do we do it? We every, need to plan better. Every episode. <laughs> every episode. You know, we need, we need a... A uh, robostitute uh, as yeah. a guest. Robostitute. Maybe yes. a robostitute secretary to plan for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Large. She, and make sure that she make sure that the robostitute shows can she up on time. Please mark on the calendar that we need to do a robot sex episode. <laughs> All right. Uh, let, me, <laughs> anyway. let, me, let me pencil that in. Yes. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>